I'm Andreas Goldi, Chief Technology Officer at Pixability. We are a software maker that helps brands be successful on YouTube. One of the most frequent problems that we find with brands is that they actually don't even rank on YouTube search for their own brand name. And that's of course a huge problem because YouTube is the world's second largest search engine. So you definitely want to be found for your product names and obviously your brand name. And the reason why that is, is that many brands completely underestimate how important video SEO search engine optimization is on YouTube. So there's a whole science and art to video SEO. It's quite a bit different from traditional SEO. And uh, brands really need to, first of all, measure how they really stack up with their uh, search ranks on YouTube. It's really crucial to understand that. They can use tools like Pixabilities, for instance, to do that. And then you have to go very systematically after improving your search ranks. And you do this in a number of ways. First of all, you simply need good content because YouTube actually rewards you if uh, you have a lot of watch time, if people actually watch your videos. You have to invest in metadata, uh, get proper titles, tagging, thumbnail pictures, and so on all of this has a huge influence and finally you get uh, better distribution by encouraging people to embed your videos on other websites and to share it on social media these are all components that play into improving your search ranks on YouTube and it can have hugely beneficial um, effects because obviously search traffic is free and uh, you already talk to people who are consciously looking for a solution for their problem YouTube is the second largest social network in the world just behind Facebook and it's not only that but it's a platform where brands can really get a lot of engagement from users and that includes typical social media behavior like sharing a video, commenting, pressing the like button and so on. So these are all expressions of interest uh, for a certain piece of content. That's great, but you also want to go beyond that. You want to encourage people to go to your website, for instance, and at the end of the day, buy your product, ideally online if you sell online. And this is a whole funnel of engagement activities that you have to walk people, uh, walk people through. And a lot of brands underestimate how uh, much focus this needs because you don't um, only want to encourage people to share a video, you also want them to subscribe on YouTube so that they turn into a loyal audience and you want them to encourage to go to your website and buy stuff. And we have metrics for every uh, part of this funnel basically so that we can always see how people drop off over time and what uh, additional promotional aspects might bring an improvement in the engagement funnel. And this really uh, um, um, pays off big time. We have seen cases for e-commerce vendors, for instance, where YouTube turned into their most effective, most cost-effective customer acquisition uh, source. And uh, when you optimize this over a long stretch of time, you can constantly improve your effectiveness in terms of engagement.